Question number 12. Question number 12, Marima Fox. Ite mana whakawa. Uh, to the Minister of Building and Housing, does he support the Māori Party's call for guaranteed healthy homes through the introduction of a warrant of fitness for all rental properties? If not, why not? Uh, Mr Speaker. The Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Uh, Mr Speaker, the Government is uh, open-minded about regulatory changes to ensure a better quality of rental property in New Zealand and is keen to work with the Māori Party on reform that is practical that is fully understands the implications for both supply and affordability. It needs to be sophisticated. For instance, if you have a blunt instrument that simply says every home that has to be rented has to be insulated, uh, I'm advised that there will be about 100,000 homes where you cannot get practically under the floor or into the ceiling to insulate it and to take 100,000 homes out of the rental market would have an enormous impact on supply as well as affordability. Uh, equally so, I've seen some proposals where, for instance, they want to regulate the amount of hot water coming out of a shower. Uh, well, uh, we're not keen on those sorts order, of ideas. Order, order, uh, we want order. practical measures. The answer's too long. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Marama Fox. Will the Minister work with the Māori Party to create safeguards for tenants who fear eviction if they complain to authorities about the state of the substandard properties they rent? If not, why not? Uh, Mr. Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Uh, Mr Speaker, I am keen to work uh, with the Māori Party. The issue is actually around the enforcement. The current Tenancy Act makes it an offence for a landlord to take action against a tenant who has raised a concern about, for instance, whether the property meets the fit and proper standard of being tenable now. The situation has been particularly acute in Christchurch following the loss of 12,000 homes, and so we're not to need to look to, well, for a start, we've built, we're built 11,000 houses to date. The rents have now stabilised in Christchurch, and so there is the opportunity well, the local member who's screaming is actually order, an objective order, to order, houses being order. built on the, the Rickman race course. Will resume his seat. The general debate will take place shortly. Supplementary. Uh, supplementary question, Marama Fox. Will the minister work to establish a platform for tenant feedback to identify and rate both good landlord practice and poor slumlord practice, and if not, why not? Oh, Mr. Speaker, Honourable again, Dr. Nick Smith, uh, we're open to good ideas, but we want to make sure that things are practical, that they're workable, and they're actually going to make a difference. Uh, that is why, for instance, our government has insulated. Uh, over 200,000 homes. That is making a practical difference. Uh, we've gone to a particular extent around ensuring every state house that can be insulated is uh, insulated. Uh, and if there are other good ideas that the Maori Party have, happy to work with them to ensure we improve the standard. That concludes questions for oral answer. Would some honourable member care to move that the House takes note of miscellaneous business? I so move.